Hey guys, how's it going? Michael Troy here. So today we are looking at the art of Timothy Bradstreet and Maximum Black. This is a really cool book, so let's get right into it. All right, so you might be familiar with this artist's work as he did a lot of uh, covers for Punisher Max. And um, he did some really great um, Hellblazer and Vertigo stuff. He's very dark and realistic. Uh, very sort of uh, lends itself well to, I don't know, cyberpunk and that kind of thing. But he does a lot of horror. Um, there's a lot of uh, duo shade artwork in here. You see those tones in there. His black and white art, art is very striking, very like a well-polished uh, Frank Miller, great use of negative space. Um, I think I met him once. He looks a lot like his drawings, the long hair and the glasses and the whole get up. Nice guy. Vampires, draws those very well. Um, I've always liked his work. Uh, it has a very like photo, photo realistic kind of quality in a way, but without looking like a real photograph, if that makes sense. Um, I really like his work. Gas masks are always fun and steampunk and that kind of thing. Very cool artist. Um, trying to think what else he may have done. I thought that was a specter. That he hasn't done too much uh, traditional superhero work, I don't think. Like, you might have seen, like, uh, Daredevil or something on a, on a Punisher cover, but he hasn't really done any. Uh, mainstream superhero work to my knowledge. Um, I really enjoyed his stuff on Hellblazer and um, I think he did a couple stories but his artwork is just uh, lots of guns and you know motorcycles and you know think biker <laughs> Just like a real grim and gritty, sort of cool, dark art. So if you haven't heard of uh, Timothy Bradstreet, I definitely, definitely recommend checking out his art. Um, I really was so in love with this book when it first came out, I couldn't get enough of it. I think he definitely uh, showed me like a lot of the power of what you can do with blacks and negative space in comic books. Um, covers and pinups, Hard Looks, number one. That was a Vertigo title, I think. I could be wrong, but I usually am. Uh, yeah, so he did a lot of covers. I mean, you're not gonna find a lot of interior work by him, but if you do, it's a treat. Um, is that the, looks like Crow, the Crow. Yeah, it's very cool. His art very much lends itself to that type of story, like the darker, grittier side. Oh, here's uh, some interior work from Rare uh, Clive Barker's story, apparently. Another, you know, keeping within the horror theme. But this is book is a great book. I'm happy to have it in my collection of art books. And, you know, I think you can get so much from so many different artists. I should have known he drew, drew Batman. Um, definitely lends itself well to Batman and Grendel. I love Grendel, one of my favorite characters. Um, but he's a fun artist. And, oh, there's the Spectre. There's the Spectre I've been looking for. So just a lot of fun. If you like the darker art or, you know, just... Uh, want to see something different that you can always learn something from different artists, just the way they do their brush strokes or place their blacks or, you know, set up their lighting. So this is a, a colored, uh, his painted covers are amazing. And he works with an artist a lot called, uh, named Grant Golish. And, uh, he doesn't get enough credit for what he brings to the table, but he really adds such a I mean, if they're photorealistic before, this really just brings them to the forefront in my eyes. That looks like a collaboration with Tony Harris, who's a, of a similar ilk, like with the dark steampunky kind of elements. That looks, that is the 
model for the cover. So obviously he uses photo reference, but I mean, you know what good artist doesn't? It's hard to capture, have something look very realistic without photo reference. You just can't <clears throat> make it up, if that makes sense. Some great artwork here. Um, I don't know what he's doing these days, but I'm sure you'll be seeing covers popping up here and there. But Timothy Bradstreet's a great artist that I like, and thanks for checking it out with me. And if you would be so kind as to subscribe and like the video, and I'll catch you later. All right, take it easy, guys. Thanks.